How to backup Active Directory in Windows Server 2008 The Windows ADS backup is included in the system state backup of a domain controller. So if you know how to take the system state backup, you know how to take the ADS backup too. In Windows Server 2003, we had a backup utility to select what we have to backup. But in Windows Server 2008, we have to use a command prompt utility called wbadmin to backup the system state of a computer. But unlike the previous versions of Windows, the backup is included as an optional feature in Windows Server 2008. So we have to install it first before we can backup the system state. Like the previous version, the system state restore rewrites all the ADS objects and settings in the domain controller and it has to be done from the directory services restore mode when we start up the PC. We will now have a look on how to do this on a Windows Server 2008 DC. I am now logged on to a domain controller of the domain contessa.com and we have a couple of OUs and some users here. So what we are going to do is we will be deleting, uh, no, we will be first backing up this domain controller using the windows backup and after that we will come back and delete some OUs and users from here and then we will restore this computer using the uh, backup that we have and we will check whether we will get back the users and OUs. So I have already told you that in Windows Server 2008, if we want to use the backup utility, we have to install it first. It comes as a feature of Windows Server 2008. So to install it, we will have to launch the server manager. And then click on features. Click on add features. and then select the windows server backup features i will make sure that everything is selected i have to install the command line tools also click on add features and click on next and i will click on install The installation succe succeeded and we have the windows backup features installed on our DC. We can close out of this and now I will show you how I can use the command prompt to backup the system state backup which is the only option to take a system state backup in windows server 2008. We will not be able to use any uh, graphical user interface to take the system state backup specifically so we will have to use the win, uh, command prompt mm. I need to run it run this as an administrator because it needs some elevated privileges to backup so I click on run as administrator and it will open up the command prompt you can just type in wb admin and I will hit enter and it populates all the switches that I can use with this WB admin command. So here we can see the start system state backup command. So I will try that WB admin space start system state backup and I will hit enter. It gives me an error message says that an option required for the command is missing and that is a backup target so I will have to give a back backup target for this and it also shows me the example here WB admin start system state backup hyphen backup target and then I can give a colon and give the target drive where I want I want to store this backup so I will use the same example but I will be using my E drive instead of the F shown here to backup and space hyphen 
backup target colon e colon so i can now hit enter now it has started the backup and it's asked me for the confirmation whether you want to start the backup operation i can hit y and enter and this will start the system state backup and it will store it to the e drive this will take a couple of minutes to complete actually some uh, about uh, 10 or 15 minutes so i will pause the video here and i'll be right back after this completes system state backup is complete and it says that the backup of system state completed successfully at the given time and we can also get the path for the log files so we have the backup of active directory and the state of the system now with us and now we can go on and delete some users and ous from our active directory and we will try to get back them with this backup let me get the active directory users and computer and we will delete the accounts ou here so we have deleted the accounts ou and we will try to retrieve these users and this ou using the backup that we have now with us we we'll check the files of the backup also in the e drive we have the windows image backup and this is the system state backup that we have it is also named with the time and date So we will now check how to restore the system state backup. For that we will have to go to the directory services restore mode as in the previous versions. So I will restart the computer. I will press F8 when the computer starts up. So we have the system boot options, advanced boot options. We can select the directory services restored mode from here. I have to log in using my local user account so I will use a username dot slash administrator and will give the user password The restoration of system state backup is also done through the WB admin tool. So I have to get an elevated command prompt. I'll right click on click on run as administrator and I will type in WB admin and we have the start system state recovery command 
so i will type in wb admin space start system state recovery and i will hit enter it will show an error message which says that i have to specify the version of backup that i am going to use to restore this computer so i i will have to get the version identifier of the backups that i have first to get the version details of the backups that i have i can use the wb admin space get versions command and it will show me the backup version identifiers that i have in my computer so this is the backup that we have the version identifier is 11 slash 12 slash 2010 hyphen 04 colon 10 so it's the date and time actually so i can use this start system state recovery space hyphen version colon 11 slash let me check the version once again it was slash 12 slash 2000 hyphen zero four ten and I can hit enter so it asks me whether to start the system state recovery now I will hit yes and the system state recovery will start this will also take some time and uh, I will be pausing the video and will be right back after this completes the restore process is completed and it says that the restore of system state completed successfully at the given time and it also asked me to please restart the machine to complete the operation so I will just restart the computer now computer has restarted and I am going to log in as the administrator of the domain and it will show me a command prompt which says that the system state recovery operation started at uh, the time and completed successfully and I have to press enter to continue so I will press enter and now I have the desktop of my DC and I can check whether I have the users and OUs back from the backup I can open up the users and computers and here you can see that I have the accounts OU back that I have restored the users and accounts uh, that I want and everything is fine and running so this is how you back up Active Directory and restore it using the WB admin tool in Windows Server 2008. So I hope this was uh, this was informative for you and thank you for watching.